first week of July, and we had won Mem Cup on the second week of June. So I'll be honest with you, I didn't skate before I even got there. Um, I, I just showed up and, you know, and I think that the momentum I had from winning and everything that, that had happened, you know, just two weeks prior, just kind of carried through and um, I ended up earning a contract just playing scrimmages against the other guys that were there. Did you uh, did you drop the mitts in any of those games? No, the, there was specific rules not to. But uh, the, the second that I had signed my deal, like, I think I have, you know, seven or eight NHL preseason games and I fought in every single one of them, so... I saw. I was. I was watching a couple back um, today. Uh, you fought Adam McQuaid. McQuaid uh, any 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 other names that that, that jump off? Paul Bissonnette. Yeah. Grossman. Um, yeah. Uh, you know Kyle Newber uh, in NHL preseason games. Uh, trying to think. Um, so no, uh, I I really have to go keep going through the list. You know what I mean. But I know that, uh, in, in I know there was at least four or five of them that I did it in. McQuay, though, that is some guy to go up against. Well, I did it at twenty years old. That was my first one. So I signed twenty years old. I showed up, got my first preseason game in Montreal in front of my friends and family, and then fought him. It wasn't a great fight, but uh, you know, it. Uh, I think it showed some balls. So. Definitely, he's probably yep. one of the scariest guys in the last 10 years. Yeah. Shame he's still sure. not around. <laughs> also, Bissonnette. You had a couple of couple of tilts against Bissonnette, am I right? Yeah, I fought him twice. I, 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 watched, I watched one of them off the neutral zone draw today, and you can see you guys, You, you he's already lined up, you come over. Can you remember what was said, or is it just a simple, no, like, give me, give me one, like, you got sent out? Okay. Yeah. So was it just like uh, you line up there? You're just saying, "Give me one," and he's like, "Yeah." That's no, well, one. he he had asked me uh, maybe earlier in the game, and then uh, like I don't know what he did on the ice, but you know he went lined up, and my coach just looked at me, and I jumped out, and I went and uh, said, "All right, we're gonna do it now," and that was it. How crazy is it that he might be the most fucking famous NHL on the planet right now? I know, right? That, <laughs> it's is insane. That it's, it's it's mad, right? And obviously he's a <laughs> Cardiff Devils I alumni, fucking e ECHL All Star, according to him. Um, but uh, you've kind of you've kind of come in, and I, I'm it kind of throws back a little bit to when Biz came in because when Biz cool. came in, the Cardiff fans were buzzing. Twitter was fucking fired up. Uh, I feel like Twitter is uh, flying off over here. I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. By the way, I, I, do you know what I've not seen before? Uh, we're going to get back to what I was talking about, you kind of doing your thing with Twitter. But I saw fans this week, girl fans, if you're the girl that's dressed like this, I don't fucking like you. Women going back and forward at each other. Like insane some of the shit they're, they're throwing at each other and then obviously uh, i've seen seen clubs tweeting shit that they shouldn't be doing twitter's a bit of a minefield near the english year but uh, sometimes twitter twitter is a wild place to be like you know every <laughs> time i go to an away arena like i end up reading uh some of the stuff that, that the away teams people say about me and i have a good laugh at it you know so <laughs> But that's the only way you can take it, right? Because although I did see something brutal last week, and uh, the Panthers <laughs> organization, I think, got the the fan to remove the tweet, but they added David Sims, and it was talking about his mum mum's uh, dementia and Alzheimer's. I was like, if you go on fucking line to do that, what is you like? You have a serious fucking issue, well, people, right? People like yeah. to hide behind the screen, right? So it's easier for them to say what they'd like there than it is in person. So oh, uh, and it's a pseudonym as well. Part of me. Oh yeah, it's a pseudonym. It's not like it's not like me going on Twitter with my name Nikki Watt and saying. Yo, Simsy, something about your mom. Like at least everyone could go, "Whoa, that was over the line," but. It came from this guy. His that's yeah, yeah. his face. That's what you're you accountable. Listen. You're account yeah. yeah, yeah, you become accountable. You can listen to the rest of that episode on all your favorite platforms now. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment. Also, if you want to help support this podcast, help it grow, help us take it to the next level, consider becoming a patron. Find the link in our description below.